This is what they call this is what they call nightgown. This is nightgown. Nightgown for married women. This is nightgown for men's women. All right. So and then when you scroll to the other side, you see this one. This one is not a nightgown. This is Ankara traditional outfit for going outside. Hello, nightgown. Out. Nightgown. Out. Now, Nigerians, I want you guys, come on, man. Now, somebody now asks the question, Pastor Shola, is it right for Christians to wear transparent nightgowns? My husband bought four different ones and is expecting me to wear them. Don't wear them. Because you are going to go to hell. Okay? But you can send the brand new ones to me. Uh, if it's the, my wife's size, you will wear it. How do that? This is nightgown. This is not something you wear to the outside. You wear it in your bedroom. All right, to make you comfortable when you sleep. If the if the if the if the if the weather is not cold, all right. Even if the weather is cold, as we go, <laughs> even if the weather is cold, because when you guys cuddle, the heat is gonna generate. You know what I'm saying? Then somebody raised the question as far. Oh, in our house in Nigeria, we have brothers, sisters, uncles, uncles, and cousins living with us. You know, your uncle, your whatever, they don't live in your bedroom for God's sake. Your bedroom is for you. It's a private chamber for you and your husband. So, when you go to sleep and you just wear, you, you wear this, a Google, be careful. You see the Google, be careful. Let me show you a Google, be careful here. You, you see this Egungu, be careful. Now, now injunction you dey go. See, this is his stuff. He said, "Look at this stuff and look at this stuff." And no wonder 